What is up YouTube? Trifecta Sports back with another video. This is Isaac and today I'm doing my room tour. So let's get started. Over here. <laughs> I can't even touch some of them. <laughs> Anyways, this is a, a poster that my mom's boyfriend actually found in a house while he does like re renovations and stuff in houses and he actually found that and he actually brought it back to me so I put in a little cheap poster, a little picture frame and there's that. Over here, this is my 2K poster uh, picture frame that I usually use every year. I pre-order 2K and each edition, you come, it comes with a poster. So I actually put the poster in here. So I had like a Kobe from last year's edition and I had a Michael Jordan from 2K16. So this year, it's going to Shaquille O'Neal. Over here, it's a pre- uh, reprint of a uh, picture of a portrait painting or whatever you got uh, Patrick Ewing and Michael Jordan over here we're gonna start with some of the autographs this is a Sports Illustrated from whenever Tennessee used to be good 13-0 perfect season and the autograph is from no other than the coach himself Phil Former. And then up top, I bought this at an auction, a local auction, and it's no other than Chris Lofton, probably probably one of the best Tennessee basketball players to ever come to Tennessee. And there's just a couple of tickets to a game I went to when I actually played ETSU. I don't know what year that is. It's sometime whenever Bruce Pearl was coach. All right, moving on, moving forward. This is a, uh, a picture of whenever they beat Florida this last year. And to the right of it is a um, ticket for whenever me and Eli and a couple other friends went to the Battle of Bristol against Virginia Tech. So, moving on. I'm trying to make this video as, uh, pretty quick. Up here is another uh, autograph from Philip Former. I actually got this at an auction, and but the one with Sports Illustrated I actually met Philip Former himself. I'll put a picture in the video if I make it quick enough. Um, and then this is uh, Peerless Price. I think he was a wide receiver for the Tennessee Volunteers. I think he won MVP at the 1998 championship and also met him as well. So, basketball. You probably won't be able to read any of those autographs, but uh, Josh Smith, Jamal Crawford, Zaza Petrulia, uh, Joe Johnson signed that basketball. That was actually at an exhibition game. At ETSU, it was Atlanta Hawks versus the New Orleans Hornets. And that's that. So, going down here, a lot of stuff. So, I'm going to go as quick as I can. Um, this is an autograph from Dick Vitale. Bought it at an auction. Uh, TTM from Richard Petty. A uh, couple other autographs and relic cards that I pulled this year. Uh, moving to the basketball. This is signed by... I can't even remember the guy's name. It's sad. It's something Bradshaw. You know who it is? No. I don't know who it is. But the bottom autograph is uh, Bruce Pearl, former uh, Tennessee basketball coach. Now he's coaching at Auburn. So glad to have that autograph. I actually met him. I wish I have a picture, but I don't think I do. But continue. This is uh, a book. Dick Vitale signed book. I also bought that with the auction. Came with the 8x10 of Dick Vitale. And then there's another TTM. This is a football helmet that I bought um, at the uh, Battle of Bristol. Uh, moving on, you'll see one goat and three other uh, basketball cards. But the goat is Peyton Manning. It's actually signed by Peyton Manning. And these cards are all TTMs. You've probably seen once before. Hershey Hawkins and Mr. Mike Beebe. Moving on. Down here, um... Dirk Nowinski, 8x10 autograph, bought at an auction. Um, this is a suite from which me and Eli went to watch the Wizards play a team from Brazil. It was, a ex, um, it was at, um, I don't even know what the arena is for the Wizards. Anyway, in D.C. And it's signed by Nene, which he plays for the Rockets, I think, still. And these are just some uh, relic cards with bats. I don't know who they are, but if you can see, oh well. This is a Shaq autograph, 8x10, bought it at an auction as well. Um, I actually got it pretty cheap, and 
These are just other relic cards. And over here to the left um, is uh, just, like I said, other autographs I pulled in packs. And and the 8x10 is Robert Parrish autograph. Bought at an auction as well. All right. Let's see. Let's continue on. And the far back here, uh, you, you probably won't even see the autograph, but it's an autograph of Joe Maurer. So, and here are just some uh, bobbleheads in the back. And this right here is probably one of my favorite players of all time. Current favorite player, would say. Jose Altuve. I actually pulled that in a pack. Very excited to get that. Also, I pulled uh, Yuli Gurriel in a, a pack as well. I actually got both of those in packs this year. This is actually numbered out of, I think, 90. 99 90 out of 99 um this is another ttm you've probably already seen wade boggs other bobbleheads and what's this guy's name you know who it is jameson talon okay that's it's, it's out of 25 so i also have his autograph yeah you probably seen it in my room too and this is tyler doing recording so down here uh as you might know um i live in greenville and we have a rookie team well, it was a rookie team from Greenville Astros, even though the Astros left Greenville. Hopefully, we'll have the Cincinnati Reds come in to take the place of Greenville Astros. So, maybe we'll be doing some videos and vlogs and stuff if the Cincinnati Reds come to Greenville, Tennessee. So, that's just some memorabilia, bobbleheads, baseballs, bats, anything you could think of at Greenville Astros memorabilia. And, oh shoot, uh... Down at the bottom are just some baseball uh, baseballs that actually have like different places that I've been to, such as like the Tennessee Smokies, uh, let's see, Asheville Tourist, uh, Myrtle Beach Pelicans, Greenville Astros, Cincinnati Reds, uh, Boston Red Sox, Johnson City Cardinals, etc. Let's move over here. These are just some of the TTMs that I've actually received. Um, plus, I made a little collage of the MLB logo. And then above here is no other than the GOAT himself. Probably my prized possession. Bought this at an auction. Very expensive. Hopefully, it's an autograph of Michael Jordan. I don't know exactly if it's an autograph of Michael Jordan. I think it is. But I don't have a COA, which sucks. But I always, I, I, in my opinion, I think it is Michael Jordan's autograph. I don't think they'll have it at auction. It'll be fake. Hopefully not. But who knows? Over here, carry on. This is uh, my baseball sign by prospects and some former MLB players, such as Cesar Sedano, played with the uh, uh, Astros, and Tyler. You can probably explain more than I can. Yeah, he is a five time or four time All Star, five time Gold Glove Award winner, finished fourth in the MVP race in 1972 and one of the best players in Houston Astro history. Um, it's a shame he isn't in the Hall of Fame and could have had a better career than he did, but that's that. Yep, and this is Joel Hanrahan. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he played with the Red Sox. That's the only thing I know. You know he what? played with the Pittsburgh Pirates, Washington Nationals, and Boston Red Sox. He's a two-time All-Star, and his final season was with the Boston Red Sox in 2013, but unfortunately he was hurt and not on the World Series roster, so he did not receive a ring or be labeled as a World Series champion. Okay, and then finally the other former MLB player is Jeff Reed. Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't know much I'm about him. I'm not sure how many seasons he played or whatever. He played a while, it was like 18 seasons or so. He was never really a starter or an all-star or anything like that. He was really just a utility player. But he was able and fortunate enough to catch a perfect game in 1990. I think Todd Browning was his name for the Cincinnati Reds. Um, I'm not really sure it could have been with the Reds or the Twins, but Jeff Reed, former catcher for the, notably known to play for the Minnesota Twins. There's that. And and the rest of the autographs are just prospects from single A, double A, one triple A, and the rest are rookie. Um, I don't think I get one from triple A. My bad. Double A, single A, rookie ball. Most of them are rookie ball, though. And some are single A uh, prospects from last season. 
and that pretty much that's pretty much it so hope you enjoyed uh, pre, uh, please like this video um, comment what your favorite item in my uh, I guess uh, man cave is and subscribe and I'll see y'all later peace out